there. Welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and there are links in an Amazon store. And if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, hit that notification bell. And likes, comments, and questions are always welcomed. If you have an artist that you're watching, just put some things in the comment. It really supports them and helps their page. All right, let's make some cards. So, <clears throat> here's the basics. Here's the basics. A nine by four card, you're gonna cut eight inches by nine inches. And you're gonna fold on the eight inch. So, you're gonna have that. And then this is what you end up with. Eight by nine. Fold it along, starting at the 8 inches, or fold it along the 9 inch. That's easier to remember. Fold it along the 9 inch, and when you do, you have a 9 by 4. The same thing with a 4 by 6. You want to cut it a 9 and a 6 and a quarter. So here you go there. It's a 9 by 6 and a quarter. When you fold it, you're going to have a 4.5 by a 6.25 now i know it's not a true four by six but what i do is my envelopes <clears throat> i get are 4.75 by six and a half so these fit perfectly in here that's where i get my card measurement start off with your envelope get your card measurement then you go from there. Okay. Let's get going. <clears throat> okay. If you don't have another little cheat sheet, get you a frame like this. This is for my 4 by 6s This is for my 4 by 9s So if I have a picture, I can sit there and go, hmm. Or... I can see what it's going to look like. I know where to cut, what I want to do. You move this around, figure out your game plan. So, these are super, super. And I cut them to the size, not of my card, but a quarter size shorter all the way around. That way I get a good idea. <clears throat> now, if you're putting, get ready to pause, you can write this down. There's my measurements. Give it a pause. Write those down. If I'm not putting a mat, I put the picture at that size. If I'm using a mat, then the picture goes to this size. So there's my cheat sheet. Okay. I've gone through some of my paintings. <clears throat> and there's some that, well, they just, they're still here after a while. So... I figure what's going to sell as a painting is sold, or they never were meant to be a painting. They were meant to be just a picture that I painted and showed some skills, something in it, you know, something to learn. Um, now we're going to make cards. So, looking at this without my little frame here, I know I don't want to cut any of this off. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this side pick us one side that you know for sure you don't want to go past and there you go so i know i want that to be the end of my card after that i just start doing all the measurements so again i look down here on a um 810 envelope which is a roughly nine by four um i need 3.75 so that's my picture. Now, I needed eight and a half inches. So here's my eight and a half. And what I'm gonna do is move it around to where I like what's in between the eight and a half and the, the cutter. And I think I want to, that, this is full, this is halfway. You know, I don't want him way up here, but I don't want him way down here either. So I'm not going to cut on, off any of his tail feathers. I'm just making a choice here. 
And then I put that at eight and a half. And there we go. That's our picture. <clears throat> All right, put that down. Now I've got these in my links. Scroll down till you see cards. Then it's the gummy tape thing. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It's the very last thing. It's got a long, long description. It's really don't have a name to it because there's really no tape. When you pull this orange off, it's just like gummy. It, it's weird. And what's cool about this is you can either do this and tear your tape off like that. Or stretch it on and then just pull it off. You can do either. A lot of times if I'm doing a lot of these, I don't want this exposed, so I'll just leave the orange on or the backing on until I get ready to do it. Now, I've got a lot of these cards already cut. They're already ready to go. And what I do is I lay them flat. There we go. That's our first one. We're not finished. We take our stamp. And we stamp it. And there you go. You can initial this if you want. Or sign your name back here if you want. And these are also on my Amazon store. And in the links. I think they're in the links. I'll try to make sure they're in the link. Okay. Card one. All right, what else do we want to do? Let's do this one. <clears throat> okay, this one we're going to get two out of. So, there's really no perfect way to do this. I think I'll just cut it in half. And this is an eight and a half, so roughly I just kind of pick <clears throat> and do that. So since this is my side I'm keeping, I measure everything else according to it. And then we'll leave it. Yep, so there's one. Let's see, that one, I've gone to the edge of my green, yep. Yep, one's a little wider, let me do this. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, put that down. I left it up one time, cut my finger. Yeah, I went to this type of tape because I was having a hard time finding the double-sided tape that wasn't ridiculously priced. Even the generics, not a name brand. I was like, mm, this, this isn't even, no. <laughs> so I found these. I mean, these, footage-wise, is better. It's, they're still a little on the pricey side, but I get a lot of, I get a lot more footage out of it. Okay. 
Okay. You see the backing of that or not? And there we go. That is one. All right, <clears throat> and there's two. Now what's interesting is sometimes you can put these in a little frame and they're just really interesting how they do. So there we go. So these are our cards. I hope that gave you some good ideas and y'all go have fun.